Pokemon. A Review of Ash's World Championship Moments. Chapter 21. Sakari. You decent people, and you champions. What you said really annoyed me. Do you know any details about Quichus? If you don't know anything about him, a deck, then you should not be the champion of Unova anymore. Give the throne to that kid. Also, I'll say it again, Team Rocket is the most powerful organization in the world. Quichus, don't try to mess with us, or you'll be shattered. Sakari was very confident when he said this, as if the plans of Team Plasma were just playing house in front of him. Moreover, Team Ocean and Team Lava in Fungyuan area were just playing house in front of him. The same is true for other places. Sakari, moreover, your, wait and leave the team, is just a child's play. First, you become a peace ambassador, and then when it is profitable, you let others release their own Pokemon, and then you go to catch other people's Pokemon. I don't know how much purer our rocket team is than you. If you want to make money, you just blatantly make money, and you also use a cover. Aren't you afraid that others will look down on you? When Sakari started, everyone in the chat group was shocked. And Adek and Adu naturally knew some details about Quichus. So, they were also watching while Shaoji and his party in the picture used their full strength. When fighting against the real dragon, the legendary Pokemon, the first level beast, Reshiram. Hurry up and tell everything you know. It is to prevent the plasma team in the real world from doing these mobs. Soon everyone knew. The so-called peace ambassador is a cover. Quichus gave a speech in Tangsao town, asking people to release Pokemon, saying that Pokemon should not be restrained because of their own selfish desires, and they should be released if they want peace. But after releasing them, others had no Pokemon. He went to catch all the Pokemon back. At that time, many people thought that Quichus was a good person. But unexpectedly, his conspiracy was really evil. Darko. Purely evil. In this case, I will support Shaoji this time and defeat Reshiram. Although it is possible that Charizard has only a 1% chance of defeating Reshiram, we must do our best and not let this kind of bad guy occupy the Pokemon world. Although Darko is about to play in the semi-finals with Shaoji, Darko feels that he is in a superior position and has superior strength. There is no need to stare at Shaoji and keep saying that Shaoji is not good enough. And at this moment, Darko's philosophy is in great conflict with the philosophy of these bad guys. Because Darko himself trains Pokemon, he must be very caring for Pokemon, and Pokemon also accepts Dato. If not, his Pokemon will not be so obedient. And this person called Quichus. He is selling dog meat under the guise of sheep, thinking of ruling the world. And it is such a disgusting method. How can there be such a person in the world? Kuichi C. I won't comment, but you can see that Xiaoji, Tiantong, and Alice in the picture have been beaten to a pulp. Strength is everything. I want to learn how my future self controls Reshiram. Is it through the 4x machine? Xiao Mao. Good fellow, it's all true even if you don't say anything. Professor Oak. He can't say all. That's it. For a while, the chat group was in an uproar, all criticizing Quichus. But everyone also knew that no matter how much they criticized, as long as they couldn't find the base camp of Team Plasma and couldn't catch them all in one fell swoop. Quichus couldn't hurt a hair. And at this moment, in the picture, although Xiaoji and his group used all their tricks, although they called out all their Pokemon and responded. But it was still quite dangerous. And what are these Pokemon? A big gathering of Pokemon. Moreover, after a series of information supplements, everyone in the chat group also learned that Reshiram's racial value is as high as 680 points. Special attacks are particularly high. And, he can use his moves directly on the opponent without being disturbed by the opponent. And because of the priesthood, it is said that it will be extremely powerful. After a mouthful of blue flames were sprayed out. He released one after another huge interlaced flames. These are all special attack type skills. Everyone panicked. Just when Xiaoji and his group were busy commanding their Pokemon to deal with the situation, at this most critical moment, suddenly, a huge figure appeared in front of Xiaoji. In an instant, he only saw a big word, fire blast, and then a hand spraying flames. He really withstood the blue flames and the staggered flames. Day. Hum. I land. Hum. Dandy. Good. Xiaomao. The dragon saves the lord. Just like what Xiaomao said in the chat group, 
and just like the cheers at the Lily of the Valley Conference right now. Xiaoji's Charizard appeared. The dragon saved the master. The big word fire blast followed by a jet of flames. Withstanding the blue flames, withstanding the extremely powerful interlaced flames. Day, oh my god, can Xiaoji's Charizard have such a powerful ability in the Unova region? Has he been training all the time? The power values of Pyroblast and Jet Flame. Compared with Crossfire and Blue Flame, it should be incomparable. Could it be that this Charizard is already the champion, a Pokemon of level 90 plus? Can it fight against a level 1 god? Day is the king of fire in the Sinnoh region. At this moment, I am drooling with envy. Professor Oak, the data is out. According to the analysis of the power value of the Blue Flame displayed by Reshiram in the picture, it should be around 130, and the staggered flame should be around 100. The regular value of the large character fire explosion is 110, and the regular value of the jet flame is 90. Both are at a disadvantage. Add to that the bonus of the priesthood, even if Reshiram is controlled, it is completely incomparable. But, speaking of this, Professor Oak suddenly changed the subject. Professor Oak. But, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. Charizard actually held up. In the picture at this moment. Just as Professor Oak and Day discussed. Reshiram's interlaced flames and blue flames were directly held up by Shaoji's Charizard. And at this moment, Shaoji's Charizard was also shaking its wings and roaring loudly. And at the same time, countless spectators watching the scene also exclaimed loudly. They were reminding the spectators next to them who had just covered their eyes. Hurry up and watch. If you don't watch it now. If Xiaoji defeated Reshiram with his Pokemon at the speed of a whirlwind. Then you will miss this wonderful performance. Hey, have you noticed? This Charizard should be Xiaoji's original Charizard, but the size of this Charizard is much larger than the Charizard we have here now. Although, after merging with the mysterious alien object, the Charizard in the field has become a little bigger. The original size was 1, and now the size is 1.3. But, the size of this Pokemon in this picture is about 2, and it seems to be bigger than Mr. Dante's Charizard. With the discussion of many sharp-eyed audiences, the scene suddenly exploded, because it was like this. Suddenly, everyone was waving all kinds of things in their hands and cheering for Xiaoji. Although they were not optimistic that Xiaoji could win with Charizard in the end. But maybe, Xiaoji could rely on other Pokemon to defeat this Reshiram. After all, Reshiram can be called the embodiment of fire. It is probably not possible to fight head-on. We must combine tactics. Sakari, Kuichi, I have already seen that you have a machine, right? It should be through that machine that Reshiram is controlled. As long as Xiaoji in the light curtain commands Charizard to blow up your plasma frigate. Sakari thought for a while. Then he continued. Sakari. As for the person who studied this machine, it should be the man named Akroma from your team Plasma, an evil scientist. But what about Akroma? Our team Rocket is the strongest, and we have our own scientific research. What you can do, even what you can do, we can definitely do it even better. There is no doubt about it. At this moment, Sakari's kingly domineering power has been fully demonstrated. And at this moment, as if confirming what Sakari said, after Charizard successfully arrived, Xiaoji and his crew also stopped fleeing in panic. Charizard has returned from the Charizard Valley this time, and his strength has increased a lot. We will fight side by side again this time. I trust you. Now we just need to find the right opportunity to shoot down this plasma frigate. At this moment, Xiaoji was giving orders while he jumped directly onto Charizard's back. And at this moment, Pikachu also came directly onto Charizard's back. Tiantong and Alice were very puzzled. Xiaoji, that's the true dragon, the most advanced Pokemon with dragon and fire attributes, and a first level legendary beast. Even if he is controlled now, we can't deal with him. Why don't we withdraw first? Call Miss Juncha and the law enforcement agencies in the Unova region. Tiantong was thinking a lot at this moment. He felt that facing a plasma team composed of a whole plasma frigate, he couldn't beat it at all. It's better to make a plan later. Yes, Xiao Ji, I am very worried about you, but I can handle it myself. Alice expressed her worry and emotions directly and decisively. Seeing this, Xiao Ji smiled faintly and waved his hand. Charizard departure. 
Pikachu, come. Wait for my good news. Accompanying Shaoji's order to set off, Charizard also roared to the sky, and the flames on its tail suddenly became more majestic, and an endless stream of flames spewed out of its mouth. This is Charizard, and it automatically fired three large character fire blasts. These three large character fire blasts. It also directly blocked Reshiram's movement perfectly. It can be seen that today's Charizard has the power comparable to the legendary Pokemon. And it can automatically predict. For a moment, countless viewers were completely shocked. Charizard vs. Reshiram. Ordinary Pokemon vs. Level 1 God. Can Shaoji do it? Dandy, amazing, what a magical place Charizard Valley is. The stories that Dakoto posted before about Charizard being disobedient in the past were also a 180 degree turn after Shaoji and Charizard had a heart to heart talk and Shaoji left Charizard in Charizard Valley to study. Serona, is it possible that Shaoji's Charizard is actually the original one, the one with the most advanced ancestral inheritance? Is it possible? Now he has not yet stimulated his 100% potential, can he still continue to train? Xiao Mao, when I was 18, Xiao Long was shaking like a sieve. This year, Xiao Long has perfected his magical power. Please call me the Dragon King. Quichus, since when did the strength of Pokemon in the Pokemon world have to be determined by its roar? What kind of Pokemon is Charizard? It's just an ordinary initial Pokemon. Don't compare all the rotten fish and shrimp with Reshiram, the Pokemon that I will catch in the future, the first level priesthood of the Pokemon that has mastered the priesthood. Or is it this kind of ideal and real top Pokemon, do you know what is real? Reality is absolute power. At this moment, Quichus was dismissive of what other trainers said in the group, the two sides were simply 108,000 miles apart. And Quichus didn't even need to look at it, he knew that his Reshiram would definitely be able to win this action like cutting melons and vegetables. Why? Because of the attributes and resistance of Pokemon, this is an insurmountable gap. Quichus immediately reminded all the champions, kings, and Pokemon doctors to take a look at your attribute restraint table. Dragon plus fire, how many times is the fire resistance? But then, before Kuikizi started to attack violently, he suddenly found that there was a mouthpiece from the same world in the group, who had already spoken for Kuikizi. Darko. Wait a minute. Although I also hope that Shaoji can withstand Reshiram's attack in this game, can Charizard beat Reshiram with four times fire resistance? And we don't know whether this future Charizard has merged some props from another world. If he just relies on training and wants to rely on God to reward hard work, can he really do it? Darko is also a little worried at this moment. He said this definitely not to provoke, and definitely not to go against everyone in public. He really wants to remind everyone that attribute restraint is irreversible. 2x restraint is okay, but. 4x restraint. How to fight this. Adu, Darko, I can sense the change in your tone when you say this, so I won't analyze your subtext, and I believe you don't have any subtext. I just discussed this with some other top dragon trainers, such as Miss Dorisena, Miss Alice, or some relevant persons in charge of the Unova region, and we came to a unanimous conclusion that the true dragon and the kind dragon should not be something that the Charizard in the picture can handle, we need to unite with other people. Adu, because of his identity as a Pokemon investigator. So if he wants to contact trainers in other regions, it can be said to be a piece of cake. There is a pile of contact information in front of him, and almost all of his calls are answered in seconds. Day, what a pity. How come the top Pokemon of fire and dragon attributes are in the hands of bad guys? Then see, I know, Day, what you are thinking is how great it would be if you could capture this Pokemon. I advise you to just forget it. I won't say more. Just experience it for yourself. Serona. Everyone naturally wants to have the top Pokemon, but whether these top Pokemon can be recognized by trainers is a big problem. You see, Reshiram's skills are still not at their peak, and Shaoji's Charizard is also dealing with it very well now. At this moment, with the speeches of trainers one after another, the chat group has been in full swing. When Quichus saw these trainers and wanted to rebel against Tiangong, he sneered. And he also noticed that he was in the light curtain in the Plasma Team's Plasma Frigate, the Galaxy Frigate, and he also looked disdainful. It's really a rebellion against the Heavenly Gang, 
it's outrageous, it's outrageous that his mother opened the door for him, it's outrageous, what kind of rotten fish and shrimp. When the time comes. When Reshiram chokes out a mouthful of interlaced flames and a mouthful of green flames, turning Charizard into a roasted lizard, you will know that you will regret it. While speaking, Gui Kizi also looked at Xiao Ji in the light curtain, and how his Charizard will flee in panic next. In the picture. After Charizard burst out with his fighting spirit, Reshiram, who was so powerful that it blocked out the sun, felt that his authority was challenged. Suddenly, an extremely powerful flame also broke out from his tail. For a moment, this flame seemed to have the intention of competing with the flames that broke out from Charizard's tail. At the same time, Reshiram also spit out the next blue fireball that had been brewing in his mouth for a long time. The blue fireball burst out with incomparable powerful force, and the surrounding air seemed to be burning. After seeing this situation, everyone understood that this was Reshiram's exclusive skill that had been used once before, Blue Flame. At the same time, Xiaoji had already commanded Charizard to take off directly, and Alice and Tiantong under the ground were also very nervous. But they didn't think of giving up. They planned to command their Pokémon to see if they could attack the Plasma Frigate of the Plasma Team. If they could blow up the spaceship, they could destroy the evil machine that controlled Reshiram. Charizard continues to use the big word Pyroblast, we focus on the hands-free skills. Xiaoji's side still used the hands-free big word Pyroblast, fighting against the blue flames one by one. When the three consecutive big word Pyroblasts successfully collided with the blue flames, the overwhelming sparks also splendidly illuminated the entire Unova region. Oh. Roar. As the fire-breathing dragon and Reshiram continued to fight in the sky, the entire desert wilderness area was covered with flying sand and rocks. The endless sand also obscured the sun and the moon. Including the members of the organization on the Plasma Frigate at this moment, as well as their number one and number two leaders, Quichus and Akram, all felt that the point seemed a little hard and a little prickly. But it was not a big problem. They still had a backup plan. Reshiram obeys my command and responds to the power of the Scepter of Kingship. At this moment, Kui Kizi directly waved his scepter. Waving this thing, which he named the Scepter of Kingship, he seemed to want to enhance Reshiram's strength. At the same time, the red light in Reshiram's eyes suddenly intensified again. At this moment, the energy of fire and dragon attributes condensed in his whole body, and the incomparably terrifying pressure was also directly emitted. Charizard, the opponent is going to increase his momentum, we can't lose. Pikachu, 100,000 volts. Fire-breathing dragon, burst of flames. Use skills together. Fusion. Thunder and lightning, flames spread all over the prairie. At the same time, after Guichus commanded Reshiram to improve his strength, a huge fireball was directly spewed out. The power of the fireball was enough to fight against the sun, and Charizard and Pikachu's energy was fully concentrated, without any panic. Directly fired. In an instant. Flames burned the sky, lightning flashed, thunder and lightning, sand and rocks flew, and the prairie spread all over the prairie. Everyone was shocked by this scene. The desert and the light curtain seemed to have become a vacuum zone. Dakoto. What is this? There are as many Pikachus as stray dogs on the roadside. Can you exert this kind of power? Isn't Charizard the protagonist of this game? Does it mean that in addition to Charizard being the leader, Pikachu is also the leader? Dacto couldn't sit still again. He originally thought that even if Charizard had any accidents in this game, it could fight the legendary Pokemon, the first level god Reshiram, 40 to 60 at the beginning, which was already very strong. But he didn't expect that the combination of Pikachu and Charizard could vaguely fight Reshiram 50 to 50. Is there something wrong with the illustration? Could it be that? Pikachu is also the hidden number 2 boss in the team. Xiao Mao. Darko, watch carefully and learn well. The bond between Xiaoji, Pikachu, Charizard, and other Pokemon is not something you can underestimate. Look at the light curtain now. What is the situation now? Following Xiao Mao's reminder, Dakduo was also shocked. When he looked up, he found a scene that shocked him. That was. Following Xiaoji's command in the picture. Pikachu, standing on the head of Charizard, also burst out with all his strength. This 100,000 volts, coupled with the attack of the explosive flames, has already had the wave of destroying the world. 
Even Tiantong and Alice, who were helping and assisting at the side, almost had their mouths full of sand and dust. Ah, ba, 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 the power of the wind and sand is so great, Xiaoji is really strong, and his Charizard is indeed a powerful Pokemon. Judging from this, my Dragonite still has a long way to go. Alice and Tiantong were playing auxiliary, and on the other hand, she was looking at Charizard, Xiaoji and Pikachu in the sky, feeling deep shock and deep disbelief. You know, one is a first level god. And the other one is Xiaoji and his Charizard and Pikachu. Even though Alice has been with Xiaoji for a long time, Alice still feels today that she may not have fully understood Xiaoji before. It is possible that Xiaoji's strength far exceeds his imagination. Alice, let's hurry up and see if we can command the Pokemon to use long-range skills to destroy the engine of the Plasma Frigate of the Plasma Team. Their engine is in the back half of the entire spacecraft. I'll show it to you now. Tiantong also resisted the wind and sand, and after a stumble, he barely managed to keep his body in shape. Now everyone doesn't care about the image. As long as they can resolve this crisis, it will be a success. Adek. Tiantong, very good. You should be in the gym now, right? I heard that there are many excellent gym trainers and talented trainers in the Unova region. Now it seems that it is true. Adu, Adek, why don't you look at the lineup in the picture before you say this, if the Unova region is really good, how can the lineup be like this? Of course, I have to say that Charizard is really powerful. I like all dragon attributed Pokemon, and Pokemon with dragon appearance. Kaluna. Yes, 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 the name of Flying King is worthy of it. Your dragon appearance means that he is not a dragon, but as long as he can fly, it's fine. Serona. Ms. Karunori really hit the nail on the head. I seem to have heard Ms. Kona describe Mr. Adu as a dodo before. Does the bird mean flying? For a moment, when everyone saw the fusion of Charizard and Pikachu's skills, and confronted Reshiram's huge blue fireball, everyone was stunned, and at the same time, everyone relaxed. Because, in fact, in everyone's mind, Charizard is only a barely acceptable and slightly cherished Pokemon, although the world's strongest trainer, Dante, has Charizard as his absolute trump card. Although Alan, one of the world's top trainers, the future 8th Master Alan, also has Charizard as his main Pokemon. But this does not mean that Charizard is so powerful. In fact, Charizard's high popularity. All of it is brought out by the strength of the top trainers, and it is also very commanding. You can see that this time Charizard and Pikachu's combo and Reshiram's head-on confrontation, it seems that Reshiram is indeed unable to beat Charizard and Pikachu because of his damaged godhood. There should be a lot of Charizard and Pikachu, but why are they so strong in Xiaoji's hands? Is it possible that Xiaoji is actually a genius? Is it possible that Xiaoji is actually the strongest in the future, but we have not yet tapped Xiaoji's potential? Otherwise, why don't we go back and ask Xiaoji for his autograph? It's a bit funny. This is just a tie after a few fights. And if we talk about real strength, we must use 100% of our strength. Even if Reshiram's divinity is damaged, it's not something that Xiaoji, Charizard, and Pikachu can do. Just because others are weak doesn't mean you can be that strong. At this moment, many trainers at the Lily of the Valley Conference, as well as trainers from all over the world, such as Kanto, Jodo, Fengyuan, Kalos, Unova, Alola, Galar, and even some other hidden regions, are all having a very heated discussion. I've become weak, but it doesn't mean you can be that strong. Even if I'm 80 points instead of 100, how many points do you have? Are you 10 or 20? Xiaoji. Great, Charizard. Did you see that? This combo was done by you and Pikachu working together. We should also gradually develop this skill in the future. As long as we can keep getting stronger, this is a good thing. Xiao Mao. Slow down, don't get stronger. If you get stronger, even I, a part-time trainer and main researcher, can't catch up with you. Shinji, Xiaoji, I don't know if you have time tonight. I want to ask you about the training method of fire attribute Pokemon, because I feel that the reason why you will be so powerful in the future must be because you are doing something right now. Hikaru. Huh. Has Shinji already betrayed us? Has he completely become Satoshi? Xiaoging. This is called following the advice. In the chat group at this moment, Everyone has gradually relaxed under the wonderful performance of Charizard and Pikachu. 
As the leader of Team Plasma, Quixotes is very unhappy at this moment. Because he feels that his dignity has been challenged. Kui Kizi, what do you know? In addition to being able to control Reshiram, the Plasma team also has a Plasma Frigate. This Plasma Frigate is our latest technology. When the time comes, I will use the Plasma Frigate to fight a joint attack with Reshiram. Let's see what you can do. At this moment, it seemed as if Kui Kizi's words were followed by actions. The Plasma Frigate of the Plasma team in the picture also condensed an extremely large red light on his head. Sakari. I recognized it. This should be Akroma's machine. It is a control machine that can make Pokemon exert powerful power. Team Plasma, you have revealed your secret. Quichus. So what if the bottom is exposed? And I see that this future control machine, Akroma seems to be very well adjusted. He can not only control it, but also exert the power of destruction. Accompanied by the explosive speeches of Sakari and Quichus, the two evil organization bosses. Xiaoji, Charizard, Pikachu, Tiantong, and Alice in the picture are still doing their best. On the other hand, Reshiram has been strengthened by Quichus, so the red light in his eyes is even more intense at this moment. And at this moment, the ray that suddenly shot out from the plasma frigate also directly turned into two huge red lights, one on Reshiram's body, and the other went straight to Xiaoji, Charizard and Pikachu. The scene is critical. Adu, once the rays of this evil organization hit a trainer or Pokemon, they will have a controlling effect, I'm not sure whether they can control people, but they can definitely control Pokemon. Xiaoji must avoid it, this is a machine that can even control mythical beasts. As the Pokemon investigator of the elf world, Adu knows all about these things. He was the first to type in the chat group, asking Xiaoji to pay attention. But he seemed to have overlooked one thing. Zaiba. Oh my god, Adu, are you too excited to see Charizard and Reshiram? Even I know that the present and the future are not in the same timeline. Can your typing now affect the future? It looks like Xiaoji, Pikachu, Charizard, Tiantong and Alice are going to be in trouble. My poor Zidoro. Suddenly. Zaiba also became sad. Kikuko. Hiba, as this video is being played more and more, my brain is starting to be used, which is good. But I feel that we should still have hope, even if it is just a tiny bit of hope. After all, justice will surely triumph over evil. Sharona. Yes. If Xiaoji doesn't win this game, he definitely can't be called a legendary boy. The key is to see how he can win. Serena. Oh my god, Serena's heart is about to jump out of her throat. I feel that this ray is really too scary. It can even control the real dragon. No matter how powerful Xiaoji is, no matter how powerful Charizard and Pikachu are, it will definitely be difficult to escape. Misty. Wow, Serena, you have to have faith in Xiaoji. I used to have no faith in Xiaoji, but after we traveled to one area after another, Xiaoji successfully proved his strength to me. Lily. Come on, mother and I are watching, can we gather our own strength and work together? Just like condensing a waveguide. The chat group was in an uproar at this moment. The trainers were nervous and worried. This was in stark contrast to the arrogance and excitement of the villain, Team Plasma boss, Quixote. Quixote, who was also staring at the Akroma control machine, which had already taken shape in the real world, in his own office, and was very arrogant and violently outputting in the chat group. Quichus. I have said it before, if you can't beat them, you can't beat them. Do you think everyone is Dandy's Charizard? Do you think everyone is Alan's Charizard? They are the eight masters, and if you look at the future eight masters, their main force is also posted in the detailed introduction, and there is Charizard. If Xiaoji's future Charizard is really strong, then why doesn't the eight masters use Charizard? So. There are still garbage Pokemon in this world. Compared with my future Reshiram, this Pikachu and this Charizard are garbage, just scum. Quichus got more and more excited when he talked here. And it seemed as if he was paving the way for Quichus in the light curtain. At this moment, the red ray has shot at Reshiram. After Reshiram howled in pain, the whole momentum increased again, and another ray has also shot in front of Xiaoji, Charizard and Pikachu. Quichus. Let me tell you what will happen next. What you will see next is that Xiaoji, his Charizard, and Pikachu are all controlled by the beam. 
or maybe I control his Pikachu, or I control Charizard, and directly attack Xiaoji, Tiantong, and Alice below. You will soon know that the technology of Team Plasma is the strongest in the world. Quichus at this moment seems to want to vent all the unhappiness and frustrations before. It seems that for him, Team Plasma is the strongest in the world at this moment. Team Rocket is just scum. Musashi. Kuichi, look at your green hair, look at how you can show off your power with the help of this technology and your scepter, and look at how you cover your whole body in your robe. How can you compare with our boss Sakari? And let me tell you, the three of us in Team Rocket have followed the little devil for so long, and we have come to the conclusion that when you dare to look down on the little devil, you are not far from failure. Kojira. Domineering. Musashi said it well, that's it, we have followed the little devil for so long, we know. Meow. That's it. Meow. Team Rocket's Musashi, Meow, and Kojira saw that this quickest repeatedly mocked Team Rocket, Boss Sakari, and Satoshi in the chat group. They really couldn't stand it anymore. At the same time, in Team Rocket's secret base, Sakari was looking at the information in the chat group while looking at the light screen. On the other side, he frowned secretly. This matter seems to be really difficult to handle. Since the previous plan failed, a new plan has been brewing, and it needs a suitable opportunity. Also, is Xiaoji in this future picture so weak? He just challenged the top 8 in the world, and was pulled down by Tiandao in the blink of an eye, thus creating a contrast. Is it emphasizing that life is full of ups and downs? Sakari was talking to himself while staring at the screen in front of him. To be honest, he didn't believe that Xiaoji would be defeated so easily. Because for such a long time, Sakari also knew Xiaoji. And the future Xiaoji, his strength will only be stronger than the current Xiaoji. So, in order to confirm his guess, Sakari continued to stare at the screen intently. In the screen, when the second red light of the control machine shot towards Xiaoji. That light was heading straight for Charizard. Seeing this, Xiaoji reacted very quickly. He jumped up from the back of Charizard with both hands and exerted force with both feet. At this moment, the laser of the control machine directly hit Xiaoji. Ah, Shinji. Is this what Xiaoji has been telling me about, the bond between trainers and Pokemon that goes beyond the ordinary? Xiao Mao, how did you do that? But when I think about it, this is Xiaoji. Xiaoji, you come at me. Darko. How can there be such a reckless trainer? If the light that even the legendary beasts can control hits a person, won't the person die immediately? Kuichi C. His strength may be rated 10 points, but this brain is completely 0 points, he is looking for death. For a moment, all the top trainers and ordinary audiences who saw Xiaoji being hit by the laser were also exclaiming, not daring to look, and secretly looking at Xiaoji through the gaps between their fingers. How can he be so brave? In the picture at this moment, after Xiaoji jumped off the Charizard, he replaced his Charizard and was hit by this beam of light. At this moment, Xiaoji's eyes turned blood red at a very fast speed, just like Reshiram. And his whole face was struggling and very hideous. Pikapi. Roar. Xiaoji. Xiaoji. At this moment, Pikachu, Charizard, Tiantong and Alice all saw Xiaoji leaping. He took the extremely fierce light of the control machine on behalf of his Charizard. Suddenly, all the Pokemon in the picture, as well as all the trainers, including Quixote himself and all the people in his plasma team were shocked. Even Reshiram's eyes burst out with a blue light other than blood color. This is the original look of Reshiram's eyes. How dare this brat, he actually chose to use his own body to block the beam of Akram's machine. My machine beam can even be controlled by a first-level god like Reshiram, a first-level god who holds the priesthood. He is just a trainer, Akram increased the particle value to the maximum, making this brat regret his reckless behavior in the future. Accompanied by Quiches's instructions on the plasma frigate, a Pokemon researcher in a white coat and a blue shirt nodded immediately. He was hired by Quiches to assist Team Plasma in researching how to help Pokemon exert their strongest power. At the same time, he is also Team Plasma's strongest researcher. It was he who invented the control machine that can control Pokemon and allow Pokemon to exert their strongest power. Of course, the control machine at this moment is not the final version, because after Reshiram was hit by the red light of the control machine, his priesthood declined. This is also what Akroma needs to adjust continuously in the future. 
but Akroma is also confident at this moment. Although his control machine cannot perfectly control Reshiram, can't it perfectly control you, a young man of 14 or 15 years old? Control the machine to its maximum power. At this moment, Akroma waved his hand and pushed the lever of his control device to the maximum. At the same time, the extremely powerful red light suddenly became thicker again. It was two or three times larger than the volume of the red light that shot at Reshiram. At the same time, Xiao Ji, who had already jumped into the sky, was directly controlled by this red light. He could neither go up nor fall down. Serena, Xiao Ji, Misty, Xiao Ji, Lila, Xiao Ji, Xiao Yao, Xiao Ji, Xiao Guang, Xiao Ji, Alice, Xiao Ji, Corny, Xiao Ji, Lily, Ash, Kato, Xiao Ji, Mary, Xiao Ji, Xiao Ji. At this moment, countless trainers were already extremely nervous in the chat group. They were very worried about Xiao Ji's safety. Because this device of the Quixote seemed too brutal, and after Akroma increased the output, it was obvious to the naked eye that Xiao Ji was in great pain. Everyone was trying every possible way to see how to get rid of the control of this red light. Xiao Mao, where is Team Rocket? Where is Team Rocket's boss Sakari? In this case, you are bragging that Team Rocket's scientific research is the best. If your scientific research is not the best, then you should tell us how to break this kind of red light. Xiao Mao is also anxious now, and the Moon Eevee who is watching with him is also very anxious. At this moment, one white circle after another on Moon Eevee's body has already glowed directly in the daytime. This is a sign that Moon Eevee is very nervous and is mobilizing its own energy and wisdom, and is also helping Xiao Mao to find a solution. At the same time, Sakari at the Rocket Team headquarters saw someone calling him. And also saw that Xiao Ji on the screen dared to jump up and withstand the control light from the shooting for his Pokemon. Even Sakari couldn't help but shout for Xiao Ji in his heart. Although Sakari is also a bad guy, he is a pure bad guy. And he also believes in his own strength and the strength of the Pokemon he controls. He will only use Pokemon or his own tough means to conquer others. He will also rely on the power of technology, but the power of technology is only an intermediate process, and the end must be to strengthen himself. So Sakari immediately thought about it for a while and expressed his opinion in the chat group. Sakari. Let me make it clear in advance that I am definitely not helping Satoshi. I just felt very uncomfortable seeing the way Quixote was showing off in the light curtain. Since when did a scumbag like Team Plasma get to show off so much? Musashi. Boss. Don't criticize Team Plasma at this time. When we get to Unova, we will kill Team Equal for you. Kojira. That's the boss. When we get to Unova, we will definitely make a Gundam robot and blow up their plasma frigate. Meow. That's it, meow. Sakari. Ahem, let me get straight to the point. At this time, external stimulation is needed, such as finding an electric shock device to calm Satoshi and let him regain consciousness. When Sakari came up with this solution, it immediately caused a huge uproar. Is this to save Satoshi or to harm him? It seems that this villain Sakari is really pure evil. At this time, he is still thinking about how to push Satoshi into an abyss of no return. Darko. Mr. Sakari, your idea is very problematic, isn't it? How can Xiaoji withstand the electric shock? Do you mean to let Pikachu electrocute him? This is impossible. If Pikachu electrocutes Xiaoji directly, wouldn't the story end? Although Darko also wants to see Xiaoji's joke, under this situation, he doesn't want such a powerful opponent in the future to fall here. And what trainer can withstand 100,000 volts? Are you kidding? Lilia. Yes, a 100,000 volt electric shock must feel the same as a lightning strike. Lilia is so scared. Is there any other way? My mother, the doctors and researchers of the Ether Foundation are also thinking about it. Wait, we must have a way. Kato, unless Xiaoji has a stronger body than Pokemon, he can't do it. Mary, if we talk about who is a humanoid Pokemon, Sister Kato can definitely meet the standard. Xiaoji, can he do it? I'm so worried. Xiao Ji, electric shock. I dare say that no one in the world knows the feeling of 100,000 volts better than me. Professor Oak, you are worthy of being Satoshi. With many trainers typing in the chat group and the spread of nervous emotions, after seeing this electric shock therapy, Satoshi also felt that it was a sure thing. 
And Professor Oak also recalled something and immediately replied in the chat group, it is worthy of being Satoshi. And it was this exchange between Satoshi and Professor Oak that immediately aroused everyone's curiosity. Could it be that Satoshi has an extraordinary physique? Xiao Ji, ahem, this story started when I captured Pikachu. At that time, Pikachu and I often had some interesting interactions. In general, I often felt the feeling of electric shock therapy. Xiaoxia. I remember now. Kueshi. Xiaoging. Many times. Xiao Mao. The kind where you feel uncomfortable if you don't get shocked once a day. Lily. What are you talking about? I don't understand a thing. Could it be that Xiaoji and Pikachu have been doing this kind of electric shock training, so that Xiaoji's physique can be different from ordinary people? So that Xiaoji's physique can directly withstand the electric shock of 100,000 volts? I took a look, and the power value of 100,000 volts is very high. Is Xiaoji really okay? Different from the understanding of Xiaoxia, Xiaoging, Xiaomao and Professor Oak, there are trainers like Lily, Serena, Karuna, Kato, Marie and Corny. They don't know much about Xiaoji's specific things. They only know Xiaoji through the current light curtain. But people's curiosity is infinite. Once something starts, if everyone wants to know, then such a curious mentality that erupts in the chat group will be pushed to the peak for a while. And now Xiaoji in the light curtain has been controlled. If there is no good method, maybe Xiaoji will become a member of Team Plasma soon, which would be really bad. Xiao Mao. Don't worry, if Xiaoji is the second trainer in the world who has been electrocuted by his own Pokemon the most, then I believe no one dares to say that he is the first trainer in the world who has been electrocuted by his own Pokemon the most. And you can see in the picture. Pikachu seems to have thought of a way. It seems that with a glance from Xiaoji, Pikachu already knows what to do next. At this moment, it seems to be just like what Xiaomao and the others talked about. In the picture. Although Xiaoji was hit by the red laser, he looked very ferocious and in great pain. But his eyes were still clear. Xiaoji shouted to his Pikachu. Pikachu, 100,000 volts. Pika 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 Pikachu. At this moment, the moment Xiaoji gave the order, Pikachu condensed a burst of extremely shining electric light from his two electric capsules. Seeing this, Quichus and Akroma, as well as the other members of the Plasma team who were on the Plasma frigate, became curious. Because their spaceship is different from creatures like Reshiram. After all, Reshiram is a creature. Even if it is a legendary Pokemon, it is possible to be attacked by electric attributes. And there is also the possibility of being hurt after being attacked by electric attributes. However, their plasma frigates are painted with the latest insulating materials. In this case, using 100,000 volts to electrify the spaceship, isn't this like an old man hanging himself because he wants to die? At this time, even if you let your Charizard continue to use the big word fire blast to hit the spaceship, it is a better behavior. 100,000 volts can't electrify it at all. Haha, <laughs> Akram, do you think our control device can make the trainer lose his mind? In fact, it is definitely like this. Although we did not completely control Xiaoji in the first time, we made him lose his mind and make irrational behaviors, which is also quite good. This is a great progress in our control of the entire Pokemon world. Besides, this Pikachu is also quite rare, so we'll catch it alive later. Kuichi was watching Pikachu still gathering energy, and even its entire body had directly turned into a large electric ball. Kuichi C also felt that this Pikachu was completely different from the ordinary Pikachu, and Akram nodded after hearing what his boss said. That's right, but the main focus of our device is to control Pokemon. If we want to control the trainer, we need more samples. Just when Akram was full of interest, they suddenly saw a shocking scene. Because. They saw Pikachu fully charged once, the destructive 100,000 volts did not hit the plasma frigate of the plasma team. Instead, it went directly to Xiaoji's figure who was nailed in the air. At this moment, a flash of lightning flashed through Quichus's mind. Reshiram, use blue flame and crossfire to continue attacking. Don't let Xiaoji wake up. This is a way he came up with to free himself from the laser's control. It's really cruel. Quickies said, commanding Reshiram, and on the other hand, commanding the plasma frigate to attack with modern weapons. The red in Reshiram's eyes had faded a lot at this moment. 
When he saw that Xiaoji actually commanded his Pokemon to electrocute Xiaoji himself in order to resolve the control of the laser beam, this also made the power of the priesthood in Reshiram's heart burst out completely. Roar. Awesome trainer. Your tenacity has inspired us. With Reshiram's incomparably powerful telepathy, the modern weapons of the Plasma Frigate of the Plasma Team were directly ineffective. On the other side, Xiao Ji, who had commanded his Pikachu to use 100,000 volts of electric therapy on himself, had also woken up. At this moment, Xiao Ji had also jumped from the back of the Charizard and moved to the back of Reshiram. Reshiram, nice to meet you, I'm Xiao Ji from Pallet Town. Next, let's destroy Team Plasma together. At this moment, Xiao Ji was on Reshiram's back. He smiled very brightly. He knew he succeeded. The end of Team Plasma has come. Xiao Mao. Good. What is retribution in this life? This is retribution in this life. The more crazy you were before, the more you are now finished. Have you seen the complete form of Reshiram? His eyes have regained clarity. Oh, no, I said it wrong. Reshiram's eyes are azure blue, more like the blue of gemstones. You are finished. When Xiao Mao saw the future Xiao Ji in the picture successfully break free from the control of the laser, he was also very happy, and with Reshiram's recognition of Xiao Ji, Xiao Mao felt very happy. Before starting from Pallet Town, Xiao Mao and Xiao Ji had always loved and hated each other. Or they had loved and hated each other since they were young, and they fought until the Silver Conference. After Xiao Mao officially lost to Xiao Ji, Xiao Mao began to reflect on his training path. Later, Xiao Mao began to study fossil Pokemon, engage in fossil research, then continue to pay attention to Xiao Ji's information. It also made Xiao Mao feel a series of progress of his childhood friend. Although he occasionally quarrels with Xiao Ji, it is all for Xiao Ji's good. Even when Xiao Ji was in the most difficult time, when Xiao Ji was mocked by Darko, Xiao Mao still kept talking to Xiao Ji with full firepower. Because Xiao Mao is the grandson of Professor Oak, with this relationship, even the king of the world dare not touch Xiao Mao. Xinji, good, 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 you are worthy of being the future Xiao Ji. After this set of smooth operations, I have to admit defeat now. Fortunately, I have been reflecting on my own training methods before. This set of operations successfully shocked myself and made me sober. And through my own efforts, Reshiram awakened his priesthood and his godhood, and returned to the undamaged first-level god state. This is not something that ordinary people can do. And Shinji now has special admiration for Xiaoji. Since the beginning of losing to Xiaoji 5, 6, Shinji has been reflecting. Then at the beginning of the Tiandao live broadcast room, when Xiaoji became the ninth in the world, Shinji had already deeply realized that Xiaoji's training methods and Pokemon concepts must be better than his own. If it is not better than himself, Xiaoji would not be able to win the ninth place, and he was not counted in the Tiandao live broadcast room. Then until Xiaoji 3, 2 Chibana. And the last two hands, commanding the super giant Gengar and the Lucario of the wave hero, also made Shinji's eyes straight. Shinji had always been strictly selected, carefully selected, carefully selected, and carefully selected. But now it seems that if he continues to be carefully selected, this path may have a little chance of success, but he will never be able to become the strongest. Look at so many champions and so many kings. Some of them are indeed inherited Pokemon, but more of them rely on their own real materials and their own accumulation of experience to make it to the top. So, Shinji now has to be a trainer like Xiaoji. Adu. Good. Now I can see it all. In the picture, Xiaoji directly rode on the white dragon, which was the first achievement of riding a mythical beast. Adu was obviously excited when he said this. You know, this is a mythical beast. Then he took a deep breath and continued. Adu, and you see Pikachu also rode on the head of the white dragon, and then Charizard was next to the white dragon. When the two top Pokemon attacked your plasma frigate of the plasma team, no matter how powerful your plasma frigate is, can you do it? And you said that there is an anti-electric coating on your plasma frigate, is it useful? Can the three members of the rocket team come out to explain? As a Pokemon investigator, Adu has heard a lot about Xiaoji, Dianfei and the rocket team. And even Adu himself felt sincere admiration for the fact that Musashi, Meowth and Kojira of the rocket team could rub robots by hand, and they could also rub high-tech robots by hand. 
And he also knew that the technology of these three people in the rocket team was definitely not inferior to the so-called top scientists of the plasma team. Even. Adu had a feeling that this scientist named Akrama might not be able to beat Kojira if he was pulled out alone to compare with him. Musashi. Ahem, I didn't expect that I called you Hedgehog Head Adu before, but you still respect us so much, then I won't call you Hedgehog Head anymore, okay, Hedgehog Head Adu. Kojira. Musashi, you, I, ah, you still shouted. Meow meow. Let me tell you, the anti-electroplating layer has absolutely no effect on the little devil's Pikachu. If it was useful, the little devil's Pikachu would have been presented to boss Sakari long ago. Sakari. Indeed, judging from the performance of Shaoji's Pikachu, he is qualified to be included in the list of rare Pokemon by our rocket team, so all the failures of the three of you before will be written off. But since this Lily of the Valley Conference, you must follow Xiaoji, and I will also allocate funds for you. You must catch Xiaoji's Pikachu for me, and other legendary Pokemon. With the discussion of the four people in the rocket team, the chat group was also very lively for a while. And everyone seemed to be happy for Xiaoji. Whether it was a decent character or a villain, it seemed to be the same. Of course, the people of the Plasma team were excluded. It seemed that the Plasma team had been completely excluded by both the Black and White Worlds at this moment. Seeing this situation, Quichus was gritting his teeth in his office. Quichus. You are too happy too early. In addition to Reshiram, aren't you afraid that I will also control Zekrom in the future? If I command Zekrom to come and fight with Reshiram, and I once again mobilize the modern weapons on the Plasma Frigate to launch an indiscriminate attack on the desert of the entire wilderness scenic area, what will you do then? Don't be too confident. Kuichi said harsh words in the group, and he was so angry that his teeth were itching, and he was humming with anger. But for him, his words were just a last-minute effort. He just said something to make up something. Because he didn't know whether God would favor him. Because he is now, he will not type a word in the chat group. In the future, he will immediately summon Zekrom from other places, and use lightning to burn Xiaoji and his group to death, right? Is it so easy to shout out violent lightning? Serona. Legendary Pokemon are always reasonable. Unless they are controlled by bad guys, I have never heard of any legendary Pokemon that hurts others for a disagreement. As the champion of the Sinnoh region and a part-time archaeologist of historical monuments, Sorona is very confident in her words. At the same time, Xiaoji in the picture has commanded his Charizard, Reshiram he is riding, and Pikachu beside him to attack directly. Suddenly, a blue flame, a red flame, and a thunderous 100,000 volts. It has already hit the plasma frigate of the plasma team. At the same time, Tiantong and Alice, who have been waiting for an opportunity below, also commanded Pokemon to attack the engine of the Plasma Frigate. And at this moment, suddenly, a hole broke in the sky. A grey-black Pokemon that looked like a bipedal dinosaur appeared. His body is full of the power of lightning and the power of dragon attributes. Kui Kizi, ha ha ha, have I unlocked the ability to make your words come true. Serena, you big bad guy. You're so arrogant too early. Look carefully, what is this Zekrom here for? Ah. At this moment, after coming out of the torn space crack, Zekrom in the picture immediately covered his whole body in a sea of lightning. And in the next moment, when the powerful ground current covered his whole body, the grey-black Zekrom, accompanied by the endless power of lightning, slammed directly into the plasma frigate of the plasma team. At this moment, Quichus, Akroma and all the members of the Plasma team in the picture did not react. Because although they also knew about Zekrom, their plan did not capture Zekrom. And now Zekrom's appearance also caught them off guard. But fortunately, Quichus's reaction was still very fast. Activate the ram of the Plasma Frigate, and fire all weapons at full power. Even if the black and white dragons appear at the same time today, this is our plasma team's chance to subdue both the black and white dragons. In the future, maybe we can subdue all three dragons of Tao. We have caught them all, and Kiram is not far away from us. There is a saying that goes, if you want to destroy them, make them crazy first. At this moment, the leader of the plasma team, Quichus, has already gone crazy. And all the members of the plasma team under him, including Akram, and the three senior cadres of the plasma team, have been desperately executing Quichus's orders. 
The size of their entire plasma bond is very large, as big as a 50-story skyscraper. So when the ram is turned on, when all the thermal weapons are turned on, even the most powerful first-level gods, the plasma team itself is confident that it can fight them. Report to the boss, the thermal rams are in place, the thermal weapons are in place, the laser weapons are in place, and the ion cannons are in place. Accompanied by the powerful shout of the deputy commander, Kuikizi also waved his hands and directly lit up all the thermal weapons on the plasma frigate at once, and all the backup energy storage at once. And it was also madly absorbing all kinds of energy in the space. It seemed that at the moment when the plasma team was firing at full power, the energy in the sky and the energy in the air were all absorbed. All transformed into endless, the basis for charging the weapons of the plasma frigate. Sakari. You are amazing, Quichus. I never thought that you could develop the plasma frigate to this extent in the future. The travel in the Unova region should not be too far from the current Sinnoh. Could it be that your plasma team's high-tech is already so powerful? At this moment, Sakari stared at the plasma frigate while clenching his fist. The scientific research of Team Rocket has always been the pride of Sakari himself. However, since the failure of Mewtwo's plan, Team Rocket has not come up with too many powerful plans. Even if there were, they were destroyed. But Sakari has always been a person who refuses to admit defeat. The strength of the opponent, especially the strength of this future opponent, has aroused his competitive spirit. Minagi will arrange the future direction of Team Rocket to balance recruiting new members with scientific research. In addition, we will speed up the establishment of new Team Rocket branches in other regions and explore Pokemon in other regions. The focus is on legendary Pokemon. After Sakari made the arrangements, a female secretary with a watermelon head and black framed glasses nodded repeatedly. She is Sakari's current personal secretary Minagi. Got it. Also, I will implement what you said before, Boss Sakari, about giving Musashi and the other three people a higher salary. Well, go down. After responding to Manatori, Sakari also wrote down the names of Musashi, Kojira, and Meowth on the memo in front of him. These three people are actually not simple. At the same time, he once again turned his attention to the communication group. At this moment, the communication group exploded again. Because the high-tech ion frigate was fully fired, it was too different from the previous wave. The previous wave may have only opened one-third of the weapons. Reshiram alone can deal with it. But this time the ion frigate may have opened 100% of its own energy reserves, or even used 200% of its own energy reserves, completely burning its boats. Even with Reshiram who has resumed his priesthood, and the newly arrived Zekrom, plus Shaoji's Charizard and Pikachu, will this work? Day, is it possible? Then see, it has to work even if it's impossible. Professor Oak, perhaps, it might be possible to let Pikachu, Charizard, and Ash cooperate with Reshiram and Zekrom. Because the Black Dragon and the White Dragon are Dragon plus Electricity, respectively, and Dragon plus Fire, respectively, and Pikachu and Charizard happen to be Electricity and Fire, respectively. With everyone's discussion and Professor Oak's idea, everyone was shocked all of a sudden. The fusion of flame and flame, and the fusion of electricity and electricity will definitely strengthen the skills. And just now, when Ash was commanding his Pikachu and Charizard to fuse their skills, he was already able to confront Reshiram head on. And this time, Reshiram, who has regained his godhood, and the new Zekrom, plus Ash and the other three, will definitely be able to unleash even greater power. And just as Professor Oak guessed, Ash in the picture did give another command. However, it was completely opposite to what Professor Oak said. Darko. Shaoji. How can you be so arrogant in the future, letting Reshiram give your Charizard the power of fire, and letting Zekrom give your Pikachu the power of lightning? Isn't this like using gasoline for a bicycle, a complete waste? Xiao Mao. Hold on, Dakodo. You are the saint who is born to be slapped in the face. Serena. Wow, Xiaoji's move is so cool. It worked. He is worthy of being the boy that Serena has her eyes on. Xiao Guang. Serena, are you confessing your feelings here? Lila. Xiaoxia. Xiao Yao. Other girls. In the picture. Pikachu jumps onto Zekrom's back. Zekrom, use your lightning strike to coordinate with Pikachu. Pikachu, use bolt attack. 
Charizard, we will use flash charge and rush at high speed. Reshiram, use your blue flame and cross flame to attack the surrounding. We are going to attack. At this moment, Xiao Ji jumped directly from the white dragon's body back to his own Charizard, and commanded Charizard to use the flash charge, and directly crashed into the plasma frigate. Pikachu also obeyed the command and used the volt attack on Zekrom's back, and Zekrom also directly used his own lightning strike to cooperate with the volt attack. At this moment, the power of the volt attack increased significantly, and the power of the flash charge also increased significantly. At this moment, a total of four shining lights appeared in the sky. The first shining light was the volt attack led by Pikachu. The yellow light as if it was going to break through the heaven and earth, the second leader was the orange-red light of Charizard's flash charge. The third was the black-gray light of Zekrom, accompanied by the orange-yellow light of itself being wrapped in lightning. The fourth was Reshiram, which was pure white mixed with a little bit of azure blue, and the light of the full force charge of blue flames and staggered flames. When these four charged forward, after the skills that were like destroying the world were released, Xiao Ji was also on his Charizard, with his Pikachu, and his Charizard, and a strong resonance. It seemed that at this moment, the power of Pokemon's skills was once again amplified. At the same time, the Plasma Team's Galaxy Guard, Thermal Ram and all Plasma Cannons, modern thermal weapons have all been overwhelming and hit like they are free. Pika Pika Pika. Roar. Lexi. Check. Charge. At this moment, Pikachu, Charizard, Reshiram, and Zekrom were not afraid of the thermal weapons. They withstood the shockwaves of the thermal weapons and rushed directly towards the plasma frigate of the plasma team. Are these people really not afraid? Continue to increase firepower and destroy all the backup energy sources. This time, Reshiram and Zekrom have fully mastered the energy of their priesthood. If we can't get rid of this guy called Xiao Ji, this Pikachu and Charizard this time, this young man called Xiao Ji will be able to walk sideways in the Unova region in the future. While saying this, Guichis also signaled Akram and the three senior cadres of the Plasma team, as well as all the other members of the Plasma team to exert their full strength. Use all their strength. Fully exert the power of the Plasma team's frigate at this moment. Because the situation at the moment is imminent. Not only Xiao Ji and his men, one person plus four Pokemon are finished. It is all the accumulation of their plasma team for so long that is finished. Sakari, if you had a powerful Pokemon yourself, you wouldn't have to rely on external forces at this time. You can still compete with the future Satoshi. Look at it from the beginning to the end, have you ever let your own Pokemon appear? If you have, even if it is an ordinary Pokemon that you looked down upon before, you won't be so passive. Sakari is now criticizing Quichus directly and mercilessly, because Quichus is like this, he relies too much on the high technology of Team Plasma, and too much on the theory advocated by Team Plasma of releasing Pokemon and then catching them, which is not open at all. If they were more open, Team Plasma might be able to reverse this time, but there is no regret medicine in the world. Adu, why do I think you, Sakari, seem to have a mutual understanding with Team Plasma's Quixote? Didn't you scold him before, and even suggested that Xiao Ji electrocute himself to free himself? How come you don't want to be a good person after just three minutes, and want to be a gangster boss? Or have you been a gangster boss from the beginning to the end? While Adu was talking, he was also continuously contacting Miss Juncha in Kanto, Chengdu and other regions. If we can use the clues in the chat group to wipe out Team Rocket's headquarters, this is great news. Musashi. Hey, 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 you hedgehog head, I didn't want to say anything to you just now. Do you need to say anything about what our boss Sakari did? Everything that boss Sakari did naturally has his limits. The leader of a small plasma team like Quichus is simply not worth mentioning compared to our omnipotent rocket team. Look at his three senior cadres, compared to the senior cadres and the highest cadres of our rocket team, they are also not worth mentioning and have no combat effectiveness at all. And now, Musashi seems to be fighting with Adu. Every time she sees Adu grabbing Sakari. Musashi will be the first to come out to rescue Sakari. And after Musashi rescues, Kojura and Meowth will also come out to help. Xiaomao. But I am still a little worried, can we win this charge? This plasma frigate is really too big. If you count the volume, a 50-story skyscraper is really huge. 
It is much larger than Reshiram, Zekram, Charizard, Pikachu and Shaoji. At this moment, Xiaomao is also very worried, although this time the inventory has made everyone more and more excited. But after all, the legendary Pokemon, the first level gods, their levels are invisible to outsiders, and no one knows the levels of Shaoji's Pikachu and Charizard in the picture. And even if everyone knows. For Pokemon Fighting Plasma Frigate and Team Plasma's Galaxy Frigate, they have no way to measure. So although Xiaomao is very anxious at the moment, he is also taking deep breaths repeatedly to calm himself down. Dante, Xiaomao, you should be worried about the level of Zekrom and Reshiram, as well as Shaoji's Charizard and Pikachu in the Unova region, right? I don't think there is any need to worry about this level. Because Shaoji has successfully overcome his inner fear, he is already a Pokemon master in his mentality. At this moment, Dante also made a shocking statement. It can even be said that Dante thinks that Shaoji does not need to wait until the future Galar region to play in the 8 Masters tournament, he is already a Pokemon master, and even Shaoji's responsibility, Dante thinks it is not an exaggeration to evaluate him as a leader now. After Dante typed out his words completely. Sharona, Daigo, Adu, Adek, Dr. Kukui, Alan, Alice, and a series of trainers, all looked at Dante's words and fell into deep thought. And at the same time. On the other side where their eyes converged. In the light curtain, Shaoji, Pikachu, Charizard, Zekrom, Reshiram. It has also collided with the Plasma Team, the Plasma Frigate with full firepower. Accompanied by a violent roar, only sand and rocks were seen flying in the screen, and smoke and dust were everywhere. Everyone was very worried. And everyone. Was concerned about the final result. Concerned. Xiaoji brought Pikachu plus Charizard plus Reshiram plus Zekrom. Successfully defeated an entire formation of the Plasma Team plus a huge Plasma Frigate plus full fire thermal weapons. It seems a bit difficult. But that's Xiaoji. Everything is possible. Thanks for watching.